ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the official tier list from Mike, Ben, and me. And we're going to be talking about the upcoming most anticipated 2023 movies. I'm sure Ben will probably give, you know, like uh, Quantum Mania, like uh, Take My Money Now or something. So what we have here at the top, we have uh, Take My Money Now. So these are going to be obviously like the movies that we're going to be like, yes, we we have to see these opening opening weekend like there's there's nothing that's going to get our way and then uh the next up we have worth the ticket price so this one's kind of like yeah i'll, I'll go check it out in theaters at some point we'll watch when i can we'll be kind of like i might i might check it out at home i might check in the theater who knows you know discount it, discount tuesday we'll you see. know yeah like, you know, something like some that point, yeah some point this yeah. Year, i'll check it out what the hell is that why do we need this? Why is this movie? Yeah. Why does this movie exist? And there's probably a lot of movies that might end up on that. In the trash already. DOA. Dead on arrival. This is garbage. Get this movie out of here. Get it out of here. Ah, we'll see how ah, many ah, land on that list. We'll see. Block, 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 block. Bam, yeah. bam. Obviously, right up front, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, baby. Yes, sir. So, um, James Gunn's final Guardians of the Galaxy movie. At least from yeah. what we understand. The hard part about this is like three years ago this would have been at the very top of like it would have been take my money now i gotta see it i gotta go opening night yeah. i got to but boy oh boy has marvel been on a very very <laughs> very bad streak it was like of this movies. and then it went yeah they fell off a cliff like black widow oof yikes guardians of the galaxy 3 is a tough one for me because james gunn's movies are some of the only ones that i i i, I mean i love both of the guardians movies so I probably would put this in worth the ticket price because I, I am still excited. I'm excited to see where these characters' journeys end at the end of the movie. I'm going to be honest. It's really the only comic book movie I'm actually like slightly looking forward to next year or this year. Yeah. So yeah. I, I would probably put it in uh, worth the ticket price as well. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm leaning to. <laughs> I, I, you know, I know people are going to be like, don't give them your money. James Gunn's uh, done a pretty good job. And yeah, I yeah. like the Guardians enough that I want to see where they go. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so next up we have Fast Ten, baby. Heck yeah, Fast baby. X. It yeah. doesn't matter. I'm I'm gonna be seeing it. I've been a fan of the whole franchise for years. It's it yeah. doesn't matter how terrible it is. Yeah, I will be going to see it. <laughs> I haven't even seen the last one. What? Uh, Bro, dude, I went saw the last. Great. What is next? Are you guys gonna go to space? And they're like, no. <laughs> Let's go to space, baby. And you're like, wait, hold on, what? Huh? Dude, the, what if um, they put dinosaurs in this one? Like, I don't even, like, <laughs> at so this excited. point. Let's go. Be... <laughs> Awkward. I'm in a, I will watch when I can. Well, Ben and I want to see in theaters. Yeah, so. so. We're going to have to stick one. it up here. <laughs> oh, Let's... there we go. Little Mermaid. So. Uh, in the trash already. I literally don't care about this oh, movie. Oh, hold on now. Hold on. Right, that sounds kind of racist, Ben. Jeez. That sounds pretty no, no. misogynist and racist. <laughs> I think The Little Mermaid is Disney's worst animated movie. Uh, I have no reason to see why it ever needed to be made into live action. I don't care. How dare don't you care about Ursula? Not one. at all. Ursula is one of the best villains. That's actually, and there's been all that drama surrounding it. Harry Styles isn't and, even in it anymore, so just put it in the trash, well, honestly. Oh, because Harry Styles isn't in it? Now, I kind of want to boost it up because <laughs> the reason Ben doesn't want to see the movie, that's the truth of it. It does belong in the trash. It, there's it no does. reason to see this movie. But when we saw the first pictures of, like, Flounder and stuff, you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, I like, know. You know. It's, it's bad. Yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. real bad. Forget that movie. nightmare fuel. <laughs> um, and then we have uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The first one yeah. is an incredible film. One of the big red flags that I have with this film is that Lord and Miller are not returning to direct yeah. this one. I forgot this was coming out this year, to be honest. I probably put it, we'll watch when I can. The trailer didn't yeah. really spark a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think they're going to recapture the magic of the first one. No, I don't, so. I don't think so. I don't think yeah. they can. I think the uh, the art of the movie, as in just the way it looks, uh, that's always really cool. You know, we'll watch when I can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Next, we have uh, Transformers. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Something about Rise of the Beast. Rise, Rise of the Beast. Beast. Is this what's his face, though? Michael Bay? I don't know. Again? No, I don't think so. But I don't think so. No. I think he's an executive okay. producer. Well, if Michael Bay's not actually doing it, then it might be okay. In this huge tanker full of diamonds. Crawl! Crawl! Those aren't ideas. Those are special effects. I don't understand the difference to me this would be a why do we need this because i just don't think we need any more transformers movies i i would love to see more from bumblebee's story but i don't think they're going to give that to us even though that was the only movie that was actually good in the transformers yeah. franchise this movie has had one two three four five five writers 
Oh wow, oh, that's, not, that's never a good sign. <laughs> to be honest, I'm probably not going to watch this one, like, yeah, at all. I think eventually I will watch it if 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 I hear interesting enough things about it. I probably won't take the time to go see it in the theater. I'm gonna probably put it in. Why do we? Why do we need this? That's my yeah. attitude. Yeah. Um, up next we have Flash with Ezra Miller returning oh. to the big screen. Everyone, woo! That's fun. Awkward. We're, we're getting Michael Keaton back as Batman. I was very excited for it at one point because it sounded like there was a lot of cameos and there's some love for what came before it. And now it sounds like all the cameos that were yeah. in this previously have been cut out other than Michael Keaton's. At this point, you know, with all of the, you know, all of the shakeups that have happened over at the DCU and, you know, all the different people that have let go and how they're completely starting over from basically ground zero. Like what yeah. this movie it kind of feels like it ended up in the why do we need this now category. So. I, I personally think that's exactly where it belongs. Everything like you said with the shake of behind the scenes in uh, in DC and then all the Ezra Miller bad press. I'm transgender and I'm binary and I don't want to be searched by a man. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. Awkward. I'll probably oh, just do the same thing with that, like I did with Mandalorian season two. I'll just fast forward to my <laughs> Michael Keaton's cameo and watch it, and then that'll don't be it. That. I'll, I'll watch the scene, and that'll be that'll be it. <laughs> no, it's 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 a unnecessary movie. Why do we need it? Indiana Jones five. I don't remember what the the the, the, the title dial of destiny. Is, but... I feel the exact same way about this one. I don't think we needed it. I even like um uh the guy who's directing it who did logan i i really mm -hmm. like his stuff i it, could be it, completely wrong about that I, d I don't think it's going to be a in the trash already film you guys are a lot nicer than i am i think it belongs in the trash we also know who's working on this movie not just james mangold but who's writing it behind the scenes mm -hmm. who's been helping write it behind the scenes you know what so i i'm actually leading with mike here f disney f lucasfilm <laughs> i think it belongs in the trash the hey, i can't argue that that's that's fine Mission Impossible, baby. Let's uh, this go. Is, take my money now. I, I think this franchise is incredible. I think it's only gotten better as it's gone on. I don't know why we need another one of these movies. Doesn't make oh any my. sense to me. Oh the franchise goodness. has gotten worse as it's gone what? on. It doesn't the make any sense at all. Only gotten worse? better. Are all things that I would say if I was a madman. Got take really my money I see right now tom cruise is okay. the last movie star tom cruise continues to just like he, he'll just put out random videos where he's just like hey i appreciate you guys i appreciate your support take my money yep. right now take I it right now baby me so happy oppenheimer christopher nolan's next huge i think it's oppenheimer film. maybe he should have a better name uh, if he wants people to pronounce it correctly <laughs> Got ah! I would put this in worth the ticket price. I think anything that Nolan makes deserves to be seen. Even if uh, his movies aren't ever like masterpieces, I think that they are definitely worth checking out in theaters. Isn't so it inspired I, by true events too? Yeah, so yeah, it's like it definitely is worth the ticket price. I think. Oppenheimer has one of the coolest quotes ever. Now I am become death destroyer of worlds when he saw the destruction that his bombs that he up make. I'm all in on this film. I yeah. actually legitimately think it's going to be amazing. They're not just doing the explosion in CGI. They mm -hmm. did it with practical effects to look as much like the the nuclear explosion that they, as they could. Yeah, I'm all in. Christopher Nolan, we're all going to agree. You go see his movies in the unless theater it's unless tenet. it's Tenet. I am way more excited for this than I was for Tenet. And I'm going to be completely, yeah. I think that Killian Murphy is like one of the best actors working today. I'm yeah. going to be just. Also, Christopher yeah. Nolan has him in every movie of yeah. his. No fucking fighting. Good. I think it belongs in the take my money now category. Um, 100%. I, I will definitely be checking this out opening weekend. Next up, we have yeah, the no, Marvel. Put it in the trash. Don't talk about it. Just put it in the trash. Move <laughs> on with all the other um, garbage. All right. All right, then. Magic Mike, Last Dance. Okay. I know Ben is right, super so excited for this. I think Barbie deserves to we'll, uh, watch when I can. That's lower than I was going to put. I was going to say worth the ticket price. You Dude, both are have way, you, okay. way there is, right, the have There is no reason for this movie to be made. No. But they but cast you... Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, and yes. they are just sticking to their guns Dude. that this movie has something to offer us. I'm here for the stupidity. The movie has a $100 million budget. 
I mean, it's, it it's sounds just, like the most cliche amazing. thing ever. Like they could have done I just, something that makes it more interesting than that. That's no, like the most hold on, basic plot listen, ever. So, I feel no. like there's something here, and I gotta yeah. know what it is. Same. <laughs> this movie is doing something I don't think anybody's gonna expect. All right, I'm putting it here. We'll watch when I can. That's fine. The trailers, everything has been terrible. The for trailer this film, was such so. a banger. <laughs> it's bad. It's out of control. Though. Ben. <laughs> Blue Beetle. Uh, why do we need this? That's that's where I'm at with it. I put it in when we'll, we'll watch when I can. I don't really know anything about the character, so Miguel from Cobra Kai. He's oh. the main character in it. I'm not gonna put it worth the ticket price. I don't think it will be, but it's something I'm very curious about because of the cast. Craven in the trash. Don't care about it. I would I would be more excited if they announced that Craven was gonna be part of another spot in the next Spider Man movie, but not his own solo film. That doesn't make any sense to me. Bye, Felicia. Dune Part Two. Take my money now. Take my money right now. Yeah. Yep. If there was a higher category than this, it would go higher. Anything Denis does, it will be there. Too bad well, he's not the one that's making the Barbie movie. Otherwise, dude, you know. that would be a masterpiece. Magic Mike's Last Dance. <laughs> yeah. Denis Villeneuve. <laughs> Ben's like, I'm here. I'm there for it. Yikes. Wonka. No, I'm gonna be completely honest here. Don't I'm actually dare. pretty freaking hyped for this film. I, I am too. Damn it. I Timothy Chalamet is going to be playing Willy Wonka. I think that like, is brilliant that's be, casting. That's amazing casting. I'll watch it when I can. All right. Oh, I think okay. we'll, we'll give it a worth the ticket up. price then. But why? Aquaman. And the um, Lost I, Kingdom. I enjoy the first one. I think it's ridiculous and I like it for what it is. We'll watch when I can. Uh, I, I'm kind of with Ben on this one. Yeah. Okay. I would be okay with why do we need this or we'll watch when I can, I, but I, not trash. I do like Jason Momoa's Aquaman. I would be happy to see him go out with one last hurrah. And I liked how they embraced kind of the ridiculous side of the character in the first movie. Up next, we have Elemental. Right. Hey, whenever I see Pixar's name now, I just get really sad because I feel like they've gone completely off the cliff. Like Black Widow. Probably put this in why do we need this. It does feel like mm -hmm. Pixar's lost some of the magic that they had before and i feel like, I like their movies are just more about like the gimmick of having like weird characters more than like actually trying to tell a good story with those characters I think, now i think yeah. it's fair to put in why do we need this up next we have cocaine bear which is probably everyone's most anticipated movie of the year worth sure. the ticket price i'm actually kind of leaning towards taking my money now yeah i'm definitely on worth the ticket price because i know what this movie is mm -hmm. the movie looks super entertaining and yeah, it's going to be a good time. I just really enjoy movies that have just completely like off the wall, insane type of concepts like this one. You're safe. Bears can't climb trees. Of course I can. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Can't forget that. Yeah. Quantumania. I think why do we need this as the fair one? Because I probably will get along to watching it. Trash. But okay, Mike. <laughs> yeah, so... The first one was okay. It was decent. The second one was terrible. The third one's going to be trash. It's trash. Yeah. That's okay. fair. Yeah, I'm. I will go ahead and stick in the trash. All right, up next we have Creed three. Uh, worth the ticket. Take price. my money now. Really, what? take my money now. I'm a huge fan of the Rocky films. Yes, I thought Creed picked up the baton and ran with it very well. I'm kind of excited about this one because it kind of feels like this is this franchise kind of stepping into its own thing and trying to do its own thing. Michael B. Jordan but, is great. I put it in worth the ticket price for me. That's that's where I would lean. Scream six. Why do we need this? I, I'm not going to be seeing this in theaters. Well, I, I haven't seen the last one. I've never I've seen, seen a single one. Scream movie in my life. <laughs> Same. I can't say I'd put it in the trash because I don't know if it's bad. Or no. Probably Apparently the one that came out last year was really good. Why do we need this? I think is fair. Very Shazam! Good. I love the first one. I love Zachary Levi. I'm not like super excited about it. I'd probably put in like will watch when I can. I like yeah. the first one. I think it's good. And I don't know if it's going to be worth the ticket price after what I got the last time. John Wick 4. I still haven't seen two and three. We'll watch when I can. Some of the movies, especially that you go out of your way to go see, and you haven't even seen John Wick two or three. I don't know what I expected. It's take my money right now. It's, like, take it's my not money even a now. question. Yeah, it's yeah. That. Come, ben, come I, am, I will design. literally force you to watch these films. Do you see now? Yeah, I see. Oh God. Dungeons and Dragons. I will watch when I can. Why do we need this? It's Did made for casuals. It? They could go be casual somewhere else in another franchise. So, Why do we need this? That's kind of my... I opinion. think that's fair. Super Mario Brothers. Take worth my money right price. now. I think that there's a lot of good potential with this film. I'm fine with it being worth the ticket price. No. Yeah, I, I think, think that's where price. it belongs. Evil Dead Rise. Why do we need it? I've seen Army of Darkness. I don't know if this is going to be that. Like, I probably put it in Why Do We Need This because I just... I, I just, just don't. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to watch it. To be honest. So. <laughs> <What is laughs> this? All right, well... 
Boom. I, I think Boom. This, I, don't, I don't think it looks that bad. I think Barbie yep. should be higher, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, we're out of here. Bye. Nice.